is. I'm in a hurry. George again. Come on, you are going to be 
promised that in the Shava after me if it doesn't matter anyway I've played this game I'll have enough money to pay them back ten times
have stopped following us. Well, I they are too scared of what they could do to them. You think they saw me?
of the 80s. Now she's on a serious convention. Refuse the shooting skin flakes for a crack and you'll see it as a tiny Now she's on a serious vendor. Refuse the shooting skin flakes for crack and you'll see them as to try to keep up as they free face getting the high speed chases that serve that porn with 80s professional wrestler, a grinder. Five contestants, one fading cream, a ton of alcohol and drug abuse. Enjoy watching one smug celebrities who have hit rock bottom. Stay there. Waiting for the stars, a new season coming soon on Weasel. The Superman by Man in the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Like, oh, boy, I'll push you in the freaking lever! Excuse me, the men's room is occupied. Yeah. And now for your hosts, Ben Bruton and Jeremy Zadar. Oh! <laughs> hey, what up, man? Wait, I could see you. Good to see you. Alright, my name is Boss Rutten, and I'm Jack. And welcome to the men's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, at night in the men's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially how to endanger the health of others with others. Did you? Not me. No. We've got relationship advice, like how to avoid bruising the face. We're going to take some calls, advising women how to deal with their men. But that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just a thing. To do the drawing right there. And when your body connects with the rib productive organ of another man, well, let me tell you buddy, it's pain and beauty. Also, we have the special, the cool and special, the cubicle, the copier, and stabbing a co-worker in the eye with a little pencil. <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> this is going to be unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be discussing rectal marital. Oh, oh shut up. First off, I want to talk to you about a second to learn, see if I can teach you how to understand your anger. Now, anger is the death of so many men. Heart problems, health problems, boldness, impotence. Waking up in the middle of the night with your hand covered in blood and you have no idea what happened. Listen, I've been around. Anger, it's a four letter word and boy, does that bring you down. Channel that anger into something positive, like Beating shit out of little guys. Oh. Bah, bah, bah. No, that's, no, that's that's not nice. Hey, listen, we all hate it to be ignored, right? Some people try yoga or putting neon under the car, whatever that does. But getting the point of life is easier than you think. Boom, 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 just like that. Are you listening, sir? No. Are you listening? Do you see me now? I bet you he is going to see you. You want to get mad?
take it quite a day. I was walking, uh, talking to a friend of mine on the phone a long time ago. He was telling me how he liked the respect and attention from the fellow school teachers in school. <laughs> what do you do if you don't get respect? Okay, so I told him, the way you get a man's attention is by doing the unexpected. <laughs> Just like that, you see? It works with him, it works for you. You know, you walk down the street, all nice. <laughs> and looky look, what do we have here? Oh. It's the lamppost. Oh, this is your hat. Just smack your lamppost against it. You like that? Do you see me now? Huh? Do you see me now? Okay. I think now in this teacher's lounge. Trust me. Those people there, they know he's around. Nobody will ignore him anymore. And if a woman walks by, the only thing you need to do, whip it out and say, what are we going to do about this? People cower under their desks. When he's nearby, man, it's much better. Yeah, charmed, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Baz, I think we need to take a commercial break. We'll be back in the men's room. Remember, don't tap your foot at the stall. What? What is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Are you calling a burger shot? The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal and burger shot. It's the spot burger you can't live without. The Heart Stopper, seven patties, six pounds of meat and cheese. You'll be flatlined in five seconds flat. Mm, it's a fucking good burger. Drive in, take out, burger shot. Die with a smile on your face. It's back. The groundbreaking formula cliffhanger sent. Can Chuck Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled as dog. The men's room with Baz and Jeremy. Who's on line three? Yeah. Hey, uh, am I on? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? I tell you what, Dad. My boy Jeff, he is your number one fan. And you sure he's in the joy right now. They know me out in a couple of years. Man, you wrote a lot of great advice in your show. Hey. I mean it. You know, hey. put yourself first or people will put you second. You know, I mean, history has some great examples of that. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Jeff. No. A lot of people in the joint should learn from my advice. You are the boss or you are the bitch. Mm -hmm. That is the name of my next book. I don't believe in an eye for an eye. Oh no, because boss believes in an eye for two eyes. Oh, better yet, an eye for two eyes, an ear, and a spleen, and need a new shirt because this one is covered in entrails. Yeah! Like that! Who wants to die fight with me in the audience? Who wants to die fight with me in the audience? Pass! Cowards! Pass! You sound really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Ah, it was such a drag. I tell you what boss says, we'll clean you right out. Nail gun. Bah, bah, bah. And then I grab a circle of saw and then I cut off your arm. It's like hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on the construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the front. So, who's on live five? Hey man, my name's Josh. I'm a big fan of the show. People What's up? Back out there. I have a question. It's like we're sex cheating. Like, I've got a video camera up on Chunk, and I'm gonna try out and all do stuff. All my online friends say my Chunk looks amazing. My hubby doesn't hurt anyone, so no way supporting me. I tell you, I hate the internet. It's for cats and pedophiles, and it's for girly men who want to trick bugs. And let me tell you, it's not like we live. I love myonlinemedia.com. You know, you can really get in touch with yourself by building a little virtual character and uh, building him a house and making him go to the bathroom and watching him sleep. You know what? I hate it. That's what I do. I walked up to the people in virtual reality and I can't break their legs. What good is virtual reality if you can't make people? <laughs> it's bullshit! You know what this is, Jeremy? What? Why is this? This has toilet paper. 
absolutely right. You have to realize that everything around you is a weapon. Toilet mm. paper, spoons, and a lot of trouble. You have real ultimate power. Listen, and you will learn. Now, let me tell you, I've been around. I was in a bar once, and I said something to this drag queen, and she kicked me in the uh, listen, I don't take shit from nobody, especially a man who dresses as a woman. So I grab her by the fucking hair and I bounce her head. Okay, who's in charge now, huh? So suddenly this guy comes out and he attacks me. I grab a beer bottle, ah, break it on the table, stab it in his face. Yeah, he's bleeding everywhere and down he goes and he had glass in his eye. Drag queen screams, oh, let's go, let's go. I look at him in the eye and I say, listen, buddy. This day of misery has just begun. Right in their fucking face. And another guy comes to me with a pool cue. Uh oh, uh oh, not enough rappers now. Okay, say, listen, are you gonna do something with that? And I slid his throat. Over and out. He was gurgling, and then I looked his face, and I started laughing. Ha ah, ah, And bartender, it was unbelievable. Fuck you, bartender. I walked outside, I get on a motorcycle, and I get back to my house. Finally, when I was home, I took a long, warm bubble bath. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, we're straight out of time. Uh, see you next time in the men's room. The men's room. Rock you by. Oh, gosh. It's the same refreshing feeling. Of your favorite drink, a delivered transdermal and discreetly pick up alcohol pack at your local pharmacy. Get ready to put your family to sleep. Weasel presents a whole new season. Thank you.